Hi guys, happy Friday, almost the weekend. Today we are going to practice our number bonds, decomposing numbers six through eight. So we're gonna do that practice and we're going to learn that you can do number bonds horizontally or vertically. You might not understand what that means right now, but we will learn that when we get to that later in the lesson. So that is our objective for the day. We are gonna start with our number practice. Before we jump into practicing our writing our numbers, I want um, to get you guys up and moving. So what we're going to do is stand up wherever you are. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to hold up a number. You are going to shout out that number, and then you're going to do that many jumping jacks. So I'll hold up the number. You'll shout out the number and count as you do that many jumping jacks. So if I hold up the number five, you will do five jumping jacks and shout out each number as you are doing the jumping jacks. I'm gonna hold up a number and we're gonna say it all together and you're gonna do your jumping jack. Ready? All right. You ready? What number? Five, great. All right, ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five. Great job. All right, shake it off, get a little break. I'm gonna hold up the next number. We're gonna do this many jumping jacks. You ready? Shout it out when I put it up. Three, great job. You ready to do three? Set, go. One, two, three. Great. I hope everybody's counting as they're doing the jumping jacks. All right, you ready for the next one? Shout out when you know the number. Four, great job. Ready to do four jumping jacks? Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four. Great job. All right, we're gonna do one more. You ready for the last number? Shout it out when you know it. Easy peasy. Number one. All right, ready for one jumping check? Go. One. Great job, guys. So that's a little way to just get us moving before our lesson. Right now, please grab your composition book and your pencil, and we're gonna start by doing our daily number practice. So right now, we are going to practice saying the numbers, and then we will practice writing the numbers. So say them along with me. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Great job, guys. So now in your composition book under 326 from yesterday, you are going to date it, label it 3-27-20 from March 27th, 2020. So you'll write that date there and then you'll practice your zero through 20 number practice. So go ahead, take a few minutes, pause the video and practice your numbers up here. All right, guys, great job. Welcome back. I know a lot of you guys have been doing a really good job with their practicing your numbers, writing them in your composition book. I've been seeing a lot of great um, portfolio submissions about you writing and practicing your numbers. So it's really great to see. Before we start our lesson, I want to sh um, share that our problem set today will be lesson 11 problem set. So we did skip one day, one lesson problem set. We're gonna be doing lesson 11 problem set today. So that looks like this. Lesson 11, and I'll show you guys that again at the end. So you are familiar with it. Today we are going to jump in to number six through eight review of number bonds. So what we are going to learn today is the idea that number bonds can be horizontal this way and this way, or flip that vertical this way or this way, or they can be horizontal going this way. So do you see how these are different? Look at, these are the same, these two, but those two are different than this one. Tell somebody around you why, how you see what the difference is. Why are these two different than this one. Good, because the whole part of it is on 
the side. It's not above like these two. But you can write number bonds all three of these ways. These are all correct. These are vertical, and this one is horizontal. These are all correct. The important part to know is where the hole, when we're doing the hole, where that goes in the number bond. So the hole will always go here. I'm going to put a W for hole because hole starts with the letter W. So, so we know where our hole goes. I'm going to put a W. Hole goes here. W, because W starts, our hole starts with the letter W. And hole will go here. I'm also going to write the parts. Part, part makes up the hole. Part, part makes up the hole. P, 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 part. What letter does part start with? P, p, P. So I'm going to label this P. So we know part, part, hole. Part, part, hole. Part, part, hole. Great. So now we know where the hole will always go. So that's the important part. They can always be, the number bonds can be made this way, but it's important to know where the number, the whole number will go. So we will practice those in our number practice now. So we're going to practice um, decomposing number six, seven, and eight, doing a review of what we did the last few days. So we're going to review that, but just emphasize that the number bonds can be created uh, vertically and horizontally. These are all correct. Okay, so we're going to start with this many magnets on the board. Can you count for me? Three. Can you count for me how many magnets I have on this side of the board? Shout out that number when you know how many magnets we have. Great, we have six. We have Mickey, one, two, three, four, and five. So like in school, this is our five stick. One, two, three, four, five, and then we have one down here. So I see two different parts, part one and part two. We need to figure out those three, let's do my fingers, three numbers, and then we need to figure out the whole. So let's count this first line because this is going to be my first part. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five. So five is going to be my first part. What is my second part? What's going to be my second number? Who knows? I have one, two, three, four, five is my first number. Shout out what the second number will be. One. Great job. So I have one magnet on my second line. Okay, so five and one. Now we need to figure out what the total is. Okay, so now I need you to shout out what you think the total number will be. Six, great job, because if I count up all of my magnets, I will get the number six. Count with me, friends. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have five, one, and six. And now I would like you to figure out in this first number bond right here where these three numbers will go. Take a few seconds, figure out where these three numbers will go, and then we'll do that together. Good job. All right, guys. So my whole, the number we have all together is six. Great job. So my hole will always go in this circle right here. All right, and one of my parts is five. Great job, and my other part is one. Great job. So right now, we actually we're gonna finish writing this equation first. So we did our number bond. We figured out our parts, we put them into our number bond. We are gonna create our equation now for this number bond. So we're going to do 6 equals, can you figure out how we finish this equation? I have 6 equals, what goes next? Great, we have 5 
plus one. Shall ooh, ooh, if that's what you said. Great job. Six equals five plus one because our whole is six and our two parts are five plus one. So this is one way that we can write down six into five and one. Great job, guys. So right now, what I would like you to do in your composition book is open up to the next blank page, and we are going to label it number bonds in our data. And then we're going to do two problems together, and then you will do your um, problem set. So please go to your next clean open page in your composition book, new page. And you're going to write at the top of the paper number bonds. So N U M B E R bonds, B O N D S. Under that, you are going to write the date today 3 27 20. Okay? And then when you're done writing the date, you're going to write two, draw two number bonds. You're going to draw this one like this our vertical number bond, and then our horizontal number bond. So you'll have two number bonds that we're going to practice with. All right, guys, great job. We're going to practice doing the numbers 7 and 8. So that's what we're going to practice here together. And then we will go and do lesson 11 problem set and upload that to your portfolio. So I'm going to put 7 now on my board. So everybody count with me the whole, how many we have all together. This is going to be four. Let me do this one. This first number bond. Great. I'll relabel it whole or part. Great job. So let's count together how many magnets we have all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven is going to be my whole great job. So I am going to put that right up here because seven is my whole. The whole will always go on its own and the parts will go together. Great. So seven. I have a certain number in my first row here. And then I have a certain number in my second row. So this will be what part one and this will be part two. I want you guys to figure out and write in our two parts what these numbers will, are going to be. Take a few minutes and we'll come back and we'll do that together. All right, great job guys. So this first line is part one. So let's count together how many magnets we have in part one. One, two, three, four, Five. Great job. So I have five magnets. So is my five going to go here? Yes. Great job. So I'm going to write five in my first part circle. Great. Because I have one, two, three, four, five magnets up there. Now I need to figure out which number is going to go in here. Great job. Two. Because I have one, two flower magnets underneath. So I'm going to write my number two here. All right, so in your first number bond, you should have seven in my whole and five and two in the two parts. Thumbs up if that's what you have. Great job. All right, guys, so we're going to come down and we're going to practice writing our equation for this number bond. I want you friends to try to do that equation on your own and see if you can make do the right signs and the right numbers. I'll give you a few minutes to try that. You can pause this video while you figure out the equation, and then we will come back and we'll see if we all found the same equation. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, I know that you guys got this because you've been doing a really good job of these equations. We're gonna go and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna come up with this equation. So here's where our hole is gonna be. So my whole is the number seven. Great job. So seven equals my two parts because five and two make seven. So five plus two more equals seven. 
We have five plus two. We go, ooh, ooh, if you had this equation right here, seven equals five plus two. Great job. So we have our number bond and we have our equation written. You can write your equation right next to your number bond. Five plus two. Great job, guys. All right. We're going to do one more for the number eight. So right now, I would like you to count what our whole is going to be. And I want you to put that number in our whole circle. So we're trying to figure out which our number is our whole. What number is going to go in this whole circle in our number bond? Great job. The number B. Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight magnets all together. So eight is the whole. Now we need to figure out the two parts. So this will be part one, the first row. Part two will be the second row. So right now I want you just to count how many magnets are in part one. Great job. Did you say the number five? Good job. Five is my first part because I have five on my top row. Now, how many are in my second part? Did you say three? Great job. I have one, two, three flowers in my second part. So I have eight as my whole and five and three as my parts. So right now on your own, try writing that equation and see if you get what I'm gonna put up on the board. If it's correct, do a woo, -woo okay? Eight equals five plus three. So what you add? Good job, guys. So what we learned today, we did a review of six through eight number bonds, learning how to decompose those numbers. And we learned that you can write our number bonds vertically or anybody remember what that other name was called horizontally so you can write it this way or you can write it this way the important part is what number is always going to go in this part of the circle so it's just important to know where the biggest number is going to go the largest number the whole all right great job today guys so I'll show you again lesson 11 problem set. You will complete this. You will upload that to your classes portfolio page and we will be able to see your progress. So thank you guys for watching the Friday video and we will see you on Monday.